I'll give you a little background on Amelia and Eleanor go for a ride. I was reading an, an adult book one day called Hearts of Fire. And in this book was a series of articles about famous American women and myths about them. Um, that was, The subtitle had the word myth in the subtitle. So I came across this one paragraph about this evening in 1933 when Amelia Earhart spent the night at the White House and took Eleanor Roosevelt for her first night flight over Washington, D.C. Well, because the word myth was in the subtitle of the book, I thought, oh, I wonder if this is true or not, or maybe it's just one of those stories like George Washington cutting down the cherry tree. So I went to the big library in San Diego and went on the microfiche, the, the Associated Press microfiche, because I figured if it was true, it would have made the press. So I had the date and I went on the next morning's AP um, articles and searched, and sure enough, there were the articles, there were the newspaper accounts of the previous evening. And so then I knew it was true. And so then I began the deeper research and um, the details and contacted the White House Curator's Office and was able to read books um, written by the housekeeper who, who uh, was, lived in the Roosevelt White House. And so one thing led to another and we have Amelia and Eleanor go for a ride.